You all may be seated. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome St. Petersburg College faculty, staff, guests, family, and graduates. The St. Petersburg College Nurses Association is proud to present this pinning ceremony in honor of the RN graduating class of December 2013. <laughs> I would first like to thank everyone for joining us today. My name is Rachel Martin, and I have the honor of serving as your SNA president. Graduates, it's been a long journey, and we've all taken the first step in pursuing our dreams to become compassionate and empathetic nurses, while at the same time securing a career with infinite possibilities. It's not easy to pursue a nursing education. Becoming a nurse is time consuming and our hard work, sacrifice, and dedication are why we are all here today. Throughout this process, we've all grown to know each other so well that most of, you, most of us have even formed our own little families. We've spent blood, sweat, and tears trying to reach our goal, and today is the day. Congratulations and the best of luck with your future endeavors. I would first like to make a few introductions and acknowledgments before we get started. First, I'd like to introduce the Dean of our nursing program, Dr. Susan Baker. And our nursing program director, Ms. Allison Chen. And Dr. Nancy Kelly, our associate provost. Students are so fortunate to have these administrators by their side to have an exceptional nursing program and to help them be successful leaders. Thank you so much. Thank you. Will the current Student Nurse Association officers please stand? Will the Student Nurses Association faculty advisors please stand? Our student nursing advisor, Ms. Joanne Gu, and a student of affairs committee, Dr. Jacob Schwab. <laughs> Graduates, the optical obstacles that we've overcome were the intensity of our classes. No matter how tough the courses got, there was always a helping hand. Our peers, study groups, and lectures by our dedicated instructors help us make it to this moment here today. I would like to take this time to thank the faculty and staff, class projects, intense discussions, and constructive criticism have given our graduating class the practical experience that will guide us in our future accomplishments. The faculty and instructors have devoted many hours of their time, experience, and leadership over the years. Thank you. And family, friends, and loved ones, this graduating class would also not be here without your support, love, and encouragement throughout the nursing program. So please, give yourselves a round of applause. We do have a professional photographer here with us this afternoon who will be taking pictures of each graduate being pinned and will also be available for pictures following the ceremony. Now I would like to welcome our Dean of Nursing, Dr. Susan Blake Baker. Good afternoon. Let me start by congratulating the graduates. You have toiled and worked very hard to get to this point. We are so proud of you. Um, we thank you for choosing St. Petersburg College as the place to receive your nursing education. Um, we are honored to have served you, and we hope that we have served you well. You have done a good job, and we are very, very proud of you. I'd also like for the graduates to take this time to honor your loved ones, those who have toiled with you, cried with you, allowed you to dip into their pockets for finances, 
who have quizzed you um, while you were studying for tests, made flashcards for you, fed you while you were studying into the wee hours of the night. Graduates, if you will stand and honor those loved ones at this time. Thank you. This is the most exciting time that there is to be a nurse. With all the changes that we know that are happening in health care, um, the changes that we expect will come with the Affordable Health Care Act, you are in a prime position to affect change in nursing and to impact nursing care across the country and across the world. Nursing is one of the most beloved professions, I think, that exists. I've been a nurse for 27 years, and I am as excited to be in nursing now as I was when I first graduated. You are in such a great position to be a catalyst for change. And I also want you to know that you are a living representation of what gets echoed throughout St. Petersburg College all the time, and that is you have finished what you started, and you should be very, very proud of yourselves. I want to encourage you to celebrate and enjoy this time, but also don't rest very long, because the next step is to take state boards and to pass on the very first take. I also want to encourage you to be true to whatever your calling is in nursing and know that you have the ability and all the tools that are necessary to be an important person in nursing, whether that is at the bedside or as you continue to further your education. Um, who knows who you might be? You might be the next Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood. You might be the next Virginia Henderson, the mother of nursing theory. Or you might be the next Mary Eliza Mahoney, the first professionally trained African-American nurse. All of you have the potential to be any number of those things. So I encourage you to be true to your calling and to embrace nursing and to always treat it with dignity, respect, always demonstrate your excellence in nursing that you have learned from your instructors here at St. Petersburg College of Nursing. Um, we know that you will continue to do us proud and we ask that you just wear the St. Petersburg College of Nursing symbol um, with pride, with dignity and respect. Again, I am so very proud of you and thank you for choosing St. Petersburg College of Nursing. Congratulations again. Thank you, Dr. Baker, that was wonderful. Now I would like to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Sandra Jones Campbell. Dr. Campbell has nursing degrees from Vincennes, Vanderbilt, and Emory Universities, and her PhD is from the University of Michigan. Over the course of 47 years in nursing, Dr. Campbell's clinical areas include parent-child nursing, women's health, and complementary and alternative health. She has been a clinician, seminar leader, consultant, hospital administrator, and faculty member. Dr. Campbell's leadership experiences began when she was president of the Future Nurses Association in high school and continued her leadership consulting for the Hospital Corporation of America, as well as teaching leadership classes right here at St. Petersburg College. Dr. Campbell's honors include membership in Sigma Theta Tau, the International Nursing Honor Society, Teacher of the Year at the University of Kentucky College of Nursing, Writer's Award from the Kentucky Nurse Asso Nurses Association, and more recently, the Spirit Award from the Central Florida Speakers Association. Dr. Campbell, Ca Campbell has authored over 40 articles, a text chapter, and four self-help books, including When Life Gives You Lemons, Squirt Back. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Dr. Sandy Campbell, Professor of Nursing in our RSN BSN program. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, 
only my mother could have written a better introduction. <laughs> Family, friends, faculty, Dr. Kelly, Dr. Baker, and Ms. Chen, guests, and PNEs, as you are about to be, it's really an honor to share some thoughts of, with you on this really important and special occasion. As you can see in your uh, um, programs, there's information about the yellow roses that you'll receive as well as the symbolism of the penny. The penny is actually symbolizing your transfer from the student role to the role of a professional nurse. And the rosebuds that you will receive really represent the budding knowledge that you have in nursing. And I will come back to those in a minute. I'm going to address primarily this transition that is occurring today as well as knowledge. Your future is nursing. And you're saying to yourselves, finally, it's the day. And you are the future of nursing, as you heard Dr. Baker say. And as we invite you into our great profession and your future, you are afforded many rights and privileges. You are transitioning into the largest healthcare profession in the country. There are over 3 million RNs. You are transitioning into the profession that has been voted the most trusted in the United States over 10 times. You are transitioning into a role that is very primary in healthcare today. We are the only ones who continually provide care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we are assisting people at the most vulnerable times of their lives, at birth, during illness, and at death. You are transitioning into what is considered the golden age of nursing, as you heard Dr. Baker say. There will be a myriad of career opportunities available to you, and the potential that you have will impact not only nursing, but all of healthcare nationally and internationally. And with these rights, as with any profession, come responsibilities. We would never get through to your pinning ceremony if I discussed all of your professional responsibilities, so I've chosen one today to focus on, and I think it's probably the most important one, lifelong learning. When my three children were young, they were involved in sports or other performing arts activities. And we always had a mantra after every performance or game, win, lose, or draw, good performance or not so good, it was next, what's next, learn from the past, be in the present, that is enjoy this wonderful celebration today, and plan for the future. Now, I know that you and your family and friends out there are thinking what my favorite football analyst, Lee Corso, says every Saturday morning. Not so fast, Dr. Campbell. Not so fast. Don't you realize what we have gone through? Remember the thorns on the roses, those challenges that we have had to overcome? Don't we get to celebrate a little bit? You're remembering how high the admission standards were to be accepted into our program. Uh, you are thinking about how many times you struggled over those drug calculation exams, not to mention, I think there's something called summation math tests. There's balancing life in the middle of all of that. And there was that end of program exam that occurred recently. And you're wondering, can't we at least have time to celebrate? Not so fast. So you're asking now, why would I choose lifelong learning? And what is it? It refers to both formal and informal acquisition of knowledge. And it may be earning something like a critical care certificate, if you're interested in that field. It may be joining a journal club at your place of employment. 
or it may be continuing your formal education to the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and beyond. And then you're saying, okay, so now we know what it is. Why lifelong learning? Well, I think of knowledge as an iceberg. And let's say that the tip of the iceberg is, you know, about my height down here to the top of the lectern. And that is all the knowledge that you have gained so far. I know you think it's more than that, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. And this is what you know that you know. Then there is the next level, which starts here at the top of the lectern and goes to the floor. And I would say that's the area that you know that you don't know. And that area, you're very clear you want to get more information about. And as we know, with an iceberg below the waterline or below the floor here, there is a lot more knowledge that we don't know that we don't know. So your job is to continually enlarge that top of the iceberg in the area of what you do know. For you to be the best nurse that you can be, and that you want to be, you will need to continually chip at that iceberg and enlarge your knowledge. So you're probably also wondering who else is thinking next for you. Well, I can tell you your faculty are. Dr. Baker and Dr. Kelly and Ms. Chen are. And your soon-to-be employers are. Most of them are seeking magnet status or pathways of excellence recognition which recognizes the quality of nursing in their institutions. And they are required to have a certain percentage of their nurses having a BSN degree. The Institute of Medicine report in 2010 said that by uh, 2020, we needed to have 80% of our RNs with a Bachelor of Science degree. Right now, nationally, we're at about 50%. And in Florida, only about 39%, so we have a ways to go. Nursing is evidence-based. You all know that from all the studying you have done. We need to have knowledge to support our practice and to make all of those practices best practices. Research also shows that the higher the level of education of the nurse, the better the patient outcomes. And isn't that what nursing is all about? Better patient outcomes quality care, continuous improvement. All of these require lifelong learning. I know that you and I walked by the same sign at the college this year, and that sign read, where are you going? And now, if I could put up a sign, I would say, where are you going next? And if you're thinking, how in the world am I going to do this? Just start the process. According to Ralph Waldo Emerson, anything unattempted remains impossible. What is possible is taking one step at a time, and then the next. Learn from the past, be in the present, plan for the future. This quote, or variations on it, have been attributed to Lewis Carroll, the Koran, and George Harrison. If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Or, as I like Yogi Bear's version, if you don't know where you're going, you might not get there. There is your nursing career. Your future is nursing, and you are the future of nursing. This takes knowledge, scholarship, research, more education. And we're fortunate in America that learning is a right. We are free to pursue education. We should take advantage of that. Malala the Pakistani girl who was nearly killed pursuing her education explained in speeches and interviews, I know the importance of education because my pens and my books were taken from me by force. This was the worst point in my life. They only shot a body, but they cannot shoot my dreams. Your dream is nursing. Knowledge is life with wings, according to Khalil Gibran, author of The Prophet. So for you to truly soar, you must continually learn, be inquisitive, ask questions, be a lifelong learner, and always be about what's next. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Best wishes on your future in nursing, and welcome to our profession.
And next is your penny. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Campbell. That was absolutely fabulous. Now, the pinning ceremony is a time-honored nursing school tradition dating back before the turn of the 20th century. Traditionally, nursing students have conducted a pinning ceremony to mark the passage from the student nurse role into the professional practice role. The student nurses are being pinned by their clinical instructor as a way of symbolizing the welcoming of a student into the profession as colleagues. The yellow rose symbolizes life. The beauty of the rose is perfection, and the thorns represent the difficulties overcome to reach perfection. This rose also symbolizes knowledge, and the buds represent the students as their knowledge is just the beginning. The yellow rose also symbolizes honor and loyalty to the profession, as well as joy and gladness. Graduate nurses, always wear your school pin with pride. Let it serve as a constant reminder, not only to yourselves, but also to your patients and your desire, to desire, perseverance, and the dedication that you have made to serve others. May I please request the presence of Ms. Allison Chen and Dr. Susan Baker to the podium to begin the pet pinning. Faculty, please prepare to pin your students. May I have Mrs. Rhonda Anderson's clinical, clinical group come forward, please? Justin Rutledge. Charlene Heater. Natalie Collin. <laughs> Vanessa Christ. Franslin Francis. <laughs> Cassandra Sanders. Tennessee Fisher.
Alan Edakula. This is Lori Davila's clinical group. Cheryl Y. April Leonard Leo David Leo Davidic. Gina Marie Taylor. <laughs> Katie Hobach. Jim Roca Mrs. Diana Burgess Clinical Group Yenandi Wilson <laughs> Almas Kashwani Sorry, Namanamitvich. <laughs> Megan Hyde. Melissa Tu <laughs> Tiwana Goodson Denise Tabor <laughs> Mrs. Jacqueline Hawkins Johnson's clinical group.
Shannon Denise Pankhost. Beverly Green Pierre. Susan McCrary. Justin Brett. <laughs> Carissa Crane. Sarah Piazza. <laughs> Ivan Martinez. Vanessa Williams <laughs> Mrs. Pat J's clinical group Sabrina Laconti. Colini <laughs> Brian Men. Crystal Sager.
Courtney Webb. Alicia Minton. Yelena Vilvich. Dorada Soko. Mrs. Becky Kinney's Clinical Group. <laughs> Sasha Ocampo. Michelle Beck. Kimberly Greer. Angela Azuzu. <laughs> Nicole Parker. Nicole McConnell. Cheryl Smith. Colette Smith. Steve Henson. This is Deborah Lama's clinical group. Roll 
Lynette Brodowski. Gina Tartaglia. Amanda L. Hassan. Beatrice Lewis. Robert Warburton. <laughs> Jennifer Mason. April Cutler. <laughs> Ariana Rokipi. Michelle de Souza. I would like to invite Mrs. Marla Sutton, a level four lead instructor, to be on the stage. Elizabeth Nguyen Ninja Tita. Maria Lowry. Casey McKenna.
Johanna Moret. Stasa Mishota. Jason Winjet. Later. <laughs> Mrs. Jackie Murdoch's group. <laughs> Jennifer Fondrick. Frazier. <laughs> Liza Catillus. here. <laughs> Jennifer Duran. Stephanie Akers. <laughs> Callie Webb. Tanya Shinsky. <laughs> Andrea Hugert. This is Christina Patterson's group. T. 
Tiffany Bowen. Pamela O'Neill. Dan Isles. Nicole Canfield. Kara Doretha Alston. Shakidra Rance. Michelle White. <laughs> Michael Van Volkenberg. Nicole Marie Fleming. <laughs> Rachel Martin. Karen McCush. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Mark Rupp's group. Alexis Ruiz. <laughs> Marjorie Beekner. Michelle Moore Noonan. Yeah. 
Alan Smay. Christine O'Toole. <laughs> Alicia Walton Rodriguez. Laura Gargiulo. <laughs> Megan Felthusen. Joy Walters Cook. <laughs> Mrs. Virginia Schneider's group. Patricia Van Devon. <laughs> Courtney Hubbard. Susan Heskett. <laughs> Jessica Mogler. Adrian Sims. <laughs> Walter Piper. Dan Rogers. Bobby Vaughn. Lance Turek. <laughs> Heather.
Heather Pei. Kristen Malecki Bray. <laughs> this is Marla Sutton's clinical group. Ryan Lawn. <laughs> Nadine Mahmoudi. Stacy Reed. <laughs> Matt Kovarek. Dustin Schultz. <laughs> Paula Moore Watts. DJ Kaeha. <laughs> Monica Colaccio. Sarah Coley. <laughs> Catherine Marie Wooten. Mary Acre Lister. <laughs> Mrs. Ruth Velasquez's clinical group. <laughs> Jennifer Widmeyer. Thank you. 
Julie Chartier. Anna Fiorentino. Megan Collette. Lynn McCullough. Justin Spady. Dominique Irwin. April Hall. Jennifer Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the St. Petersburg College of Nursing Fall 2013 Associate Degree Nursing Graduates. Now, gra <laughs> now, graduates, please stand and recite with me the Florence Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in their work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill whenever they may be and wherever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Thank you. You may be seated. I 
I would like to take this opportunity to remember the friends and family who could not finish this journey with us. To all of those that we've lost along the way, in honor of their memory, please let us offer this moment of silence. Now in closing, on behalf of the Student Nurses Association, I'd like to congratulate once again the graduating seniors of two, December 2013. <laughs> Following this program's conclusion, there will be refreshments in the Fellowship Center. Um, there will be ushers to escort you. Graduates, please remain behind momentarily for the group picture. Family and faculty, please quickly clear the middle section for that photo. This does conclude our pinning ceremony. Thank you all once again for coming. Congratulations, graduates. Let's give them one more round of applause.